Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me while I ride my bike again. It feels so good to be able to get back on this bike on a regular basis. Uh, I'm averaging about 20 minutes a day, which is okay. I'd like to work my way back up to 30 minutes, but I'm not trying to overdo it. Uh, so 20 minutes a day, every single day. Um, that's um, going pretty well. Have not gotten back to the gym yet. I need to uh, try to force myself to do that because it's the muscles, working those muscles, building the strength is so, so important. So uh, hopefully within these this next week, I can at least get to the gym two or three days, uh, which is what I'm hoping to do. The last time I uh, talk to y'all. I, I mentioned that after the last challenge and Mary's Mini that I was on, that during the four-day break, I was going to try to stick as close to the plan as possible. Uh, didn't work out so well. <laughs> My daughter came and visited me Friday. She stayed overnight. Uh, we went out to eat. Um, had a little bit too much salt, had some Thai food, made sure it was vegan, but it wasn't necessarily uh, fully plant-based. And uh, and then yesterday I made something that was really, really fun that um, for my son. I made that cheese sauce that um, uh, Jill, forgot her last name, the Game Changer cheese sauce. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. It's, it's weird to know that something made out of oats. <laughs> Can taste, uh, can taste like cheese sauce. That was uh, the most bizarre uh, transformation of ingredients, but my son gobbled it up, caught him in the kitchen in the middle of the night going back to it, so he enjoyed that tremendously. So if you've got some people in your household who are not plant-based and you want to wow them, try that. Uh, that was pretty good, actually. I did speak with my doctor on Friday. And we had a good little discussion about my moving forward with what I need to do. She and I both agree that one of the most important things right now, besides my health, of course, and this leads toward my health, is that I have to get this weight off. And, you know, not just a pound a week or, you know, a pound every two weeks. I've got to get pretty serious with getting this weight off. And, um, and so, you know, I reminded her of what I'm doing with the Mary's Minis. Uh, she asked me about my regularity with the last one. And, of course, I've, you have to be honest with your doctor. Um, so we came up with a compromise. Uh, she understands my mindset when it comes to the Mary's Mini. She understands a lot about mindset and dieting and, and things like that. Um, and, but she also understands certain things that your body craves and your body says, okay, we kind of need this in order for this to run well. And my biggest concern has been my regularity. And so what we agreed upon is that uh, she's okay with my eating my fruit, getting my fruit, getting my flax, getting all that stuff during my days off in the four days. Um, however, uh, she wants me to include one cup of beans a day. Uh, so um, I'm okay with that. Uh, and so this is the only time I'm actually going to mention um, the fact that I'm going to include one cup of beans a day. Uh, other than that, it's going to be uh, strictly um, with the Mary's Mini again uh, so that I can make sure that I get all of my non-starchy um, vegetables in on a regular basis, eat my starch, uh, make sure that I'm satiated. Uh, but also make sure that I keep those things in my body that I need for for my regularity. We're all different. We're all different, and we need to take an accounting of um, of how things work with our bodies. Um, and so that will be um, my modified Mary's Mini based on my doctor's orders. Other than that, I'll stick strictly to the Mary's Mini, and I'll continue these series of Mary's Minis until the end of the year, uh, and then we'll see how things go. Uh, I've got to get this weight off. Um, I, I just I just have to. I don't want anything new happening. Um, with the change in the weather, I've been dealing with some arthritic issues, uh, which have not been fun, and I'm sure that my weight... Uh, is certainly not helping that particular situation either. 
Uh, so I start again on Monday. A new Mary's Mini on Monday. Uh, potatoes. <laughs> We're going back to potatoes. <laughs> I, I enjoy rice. Um, I grew up on rice. Louisiana girl, of course. I, I've eaten a lot of rice in my life. It just seems to me, for me, that the potato mini uh, is a lot more conducive to my lifestyle. I mean, I can just grab a couple of potatoes out of the refrigerator, make me some ballpark sauce, and uh, I can have snacks for the day. I can you know, I can have whatever it is that I need to to satiate myself and to keep on going instead of having to be in a situation where I've got to prepare things. Because uh, even with my potatoes, I can eat those without having to heat them up. And so I'm going back to potatoes. Haven't tried the sweet potatoes yet. Uh, not as a many. Uh, I think I'm just going to sort of stick with the potatoes. That... Um, gives me what I need, um, and uh, and it's uh, it keeps me um, on track, and um, and so uh, let's see, we'll see how things go. Um, if you are going to start another mini on tomorrow, um, put a comment down below and let us know so that we can kind of do this thing together. Um, it's nonstop. It's nonstop, guys. The, we are about to embark upon, and I believe it's already happened, uh, the hard part of weight loss for the year. Uh, the months of, um, of November and December are tough. They're tough for everybody, especially those people who are trying to lose weight. Um, you know, as far as trying to stay on track, is concerned you this is the season of parties this is the season of uh, treats this is the season of things that come up and as teachers um, we are in bombarded with treats all the time and they have already started uh, we had some candy put in our boxes by a couple of us organizations at school and uh, and, you know, I pulled it on out of there and, you know, I, I, one of my helpers, one of my helpers in, uh, at school, I actually gave her the little bags of candy that were put, um, in my box. And then I gave one of my coworkers, um, some, I did consume two pieces of seriously dark, 60% dark chocolate, um, only because I just felt like I needed it, <laughs> but I didn't consume anything that had milk in it and, I was only two pieces and I, I felt like, you know, that was somewhat of a success, despite the fact that I did have the two pieces of dark chocolate. Um, so it starts, <laughs> it's, it's already upon us. Um, if you have some suggestions on how people can deal with this time of the year and still stay on plan, please write it down in the comments. Um, we all need a little bit of help in this area. I know I do, uh, and a lot of people do. And so if they can read some of the comments and get some of the suggestions on what we can do, um, one suggestion that I will have, number one, is increase your water. Drink, drink water. If you feel like you have to have something, drink a glass of water first. I read that somewhere. And a lot of times, it, it, uh, what's going on with you is just that you're thirsty, not really hungry. And, and then, of course, you know, cravings are real. If it's in front of us, sometimes it's hard, especially if it's constantly put in front of us. And this is the time of year where things are constantly put in front of us. If you're going to any type of dinners or potlucks or parties and things like that where you're asked to bring something, bring something yummy that's on plan. And that way you can, you know, consume your stuff without having to fill up on the other stuff. Um, and then, you know, it's just, it, it what I've told uh, people in my uh, small weight loss group, uh, in previous years is that starting the beginning of November, uh, a, a success is not gaining. 
Because guys, listen, if we um, if we decide um, that we're not going to uh, be on any kind of plan at all, we take the two months off, there are going to be some games. Y'all know it and I know it. <laughs> You're going to game. However, if you... Um, if you tell yourself that, okay, I'm, I'm going to stick to this plan. I know I have this weight to lose. I know I have to continue to work on my health. Um, and that my biggest goal right now, from now until the end of the year, is simply not to gain. Um, that'll keep you on plan. Nine times out of ten, you will continue to lose. Uh, but then there, there won't be those, those gains. Um, make yourself uncomfortable. Make it so that you, you're you making yourself uncomfortable if you make these choices to um, do things that you're not supposed to do. Do things that will not lead toward your success um, as far as your weight loss is concerned. But guys, if you just say to yourself, oh, I've got a vacation coming up, a family's coming in, uh, I've got this party, that party, and this party to go to, there's no way that I can continue with what I need to do. Um, it, it, don't give yourself license and permission to just quit for two months. Please don't do that. Because if you have a lot that you have to lose, if you are trying to be successful as far as this weight loss is concerned and as far as your health is concerned, guys, keep going. If you're in the middle of a Mary's Mini or you're in the middle of a program and you find yourself in a situation where you have to partake, you know, do whatever you need to do. But the next time you have to eat something, get back on plan. Don't say, oh, well, I messed up. I may as well just, you know, start again next Monday or start again. No, start again the very next time you eat um, and make it an ongoing situation. It's not fun to have to deal with weight loss. Uh, it's not fun at all. Uh, psychologically and emotionally and you know that sort of thing is not fun either but what's even more not fun <laughs> is to end up the first of January starting all over and I don't mean just starting all over with your weight loss I mean starting all over with some of your your success as far as your health is concerned don't do it <laughs> you know as they say don't do it <laughs> try to stick as closely to plan as possible. Will there be some indiscretions? Sure. This is the holidays, but don't give yourself that permission to just keep on messing up. Um, fight with yourself every single time. Okay? You know, I have no choice this time, or I really, really want that, or whatever. Do what you got to do, and then the very next time you eat, get back on plan. That's, that's the best advice that I can give you. And it's the best advice that I can give myself. Because <laughs> I'm a poster child for this. <laughs> and this year, I can't blame it on steroids. I have not been sick. That's amazing. This is the first time since I have been a teacher that I have not gotten sick at all during the fall months. Very first time. Usually, I've had two or three by now. You know, that turn into bronchitis and all of the above and the protocol of the steroids and all this kind of stuff. I have not been sick. And I am so happy about that. So, I um, can't blame it on the steroids. <laughs> well, guys, listen, I'm going to start again tomorrow. Tomorrow starts my next Mary's Mini, Mary's Mini number seven. Um, I am going to claim a... Four pound loss. I want to lose four pounds during that the next 10 days. Um, in my small group, we're, we um, use the uh, McDougal program for maximum weight loss. Uh, I am going to continue with the Mary's Mini, the modified version um, that uh, was okayed by my doctor. And this, let's see how things go. So listen, I, um, I'll probably pop back in on Wednesday. And y'all have an absolutely fabulous day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.